Good evening, this is Numismatic Notes with Benjamin, and tonight I'm going to share with you a 5,000 Vatu of the nation of Vanuatu. <clears throat> this banknote has a designation of PIC-15 uh, from the Standard Catalog of World Paper Money. The banknote book designates this as a B206B. I got some additional information on the vignette from Wikipedia. It was printed by the firm Delarue. It is predominantly a brown, purple, and green banknote. We'll get to the face in a minute, but right now I want to focus on what is on the back. At the bottom of this note, we have a nice legend that says Reserve Bank Belong Vanuatu. It sounds surprisingly English because it is, in fact, a pigeon. And it literally translates to the Reserve Bank of Vanuatu or the Reserve Bank that belongs to Vanuatu. You can see on the left the vignette of a cruise ship. And over here to the right you can see, um, <laughs> I almost said a flock of cattle. You can see a small herd of cattle there. But the vignette in the center shows a young man looking in awe at an older man jumping from a 30 meter platform with nothing but vines tied to his feet. This is actually a ritual of naghol or land diving and it was the inspiration for the modern sport or death divine uh, activity called bungee jumping. <clears throat> it is a ritual by the men of the Pentecost Island. They leap off of 20 to 30 meter platforms with only vines tied to their ankles. And if you look right up there, you can see a gentleman in the midst of a jump. There is no other safety equipment. At the base of the platform, the ground has had the rocks removed and it has had the soil tilled up a little bit so that hopefully the measurement of the vines will be such that the man will only hit it with the top of his shoulders. He usually tucks his head and folds his arms so that he doesn't hit the ground head first. Although this way of landing uh, leaves him open to lifelong paralysis or in the case of an unfortunate land diving event that they put on for the Queen of England when she visited outside of the prime uh, diving season, instant death. Um, it has become quite a tourist attraction. The Guinness Book of World Records states that the G-force felt by divers can be the greatest experience by people in the non-industrialized world. This was originally a women's rit ritual that was, in any event, taken over by men. Uh, it is associated with the yam harvest and a good um, jump in April, May, or June usually ensures a good yam harvest. The timing is important. Uh, the vines that are used on the men's ankles need to have just the right amount of moisture to give the vines the elasticity they need to keep from snapping. There are two platforms. You can barely make out the detail here. There is a lower platform for inexperienced jumpers who are usually young boys who've been recently circumcised and are wanting to become men by performing their first uh, jump. More experienced divers will use a 20 to 30 meter platform at the top of the scaffolding. Um, <laughs> yes, for a time, early missionaries to Vanuatu were able to persuade the peoples to stop this ritual. But um, it was reinstated in the 1970s as part of pride and cultural identity and a rise in anti-colonialism. I guess it was the missionary's position that the ritual was just too sexual in nature. <laughs> Indeed. Let's take a look at the front of this banknote. It's a pretty simple design. Um, lathe work and local patterns in coloration. We see in the center a Melanesian chief who forms the symbol of the nation, superimposed over a boar tusk, which in and of itself is indicating of high rank and power within a Melanesian community. You can see the boar's tusk over here again to the right and to the left of the central vignette. He is standing on a banner that states the motto of the nation, Long God, you me, stand up. 
which literally stands for In God We Trust or In God We Stand. Over here to the far left, uh, you can see uh, a little white rectangle there. When this note is held up to the light, you can see a triangle from the reverse of the note that uh, forms a perfect registration device. Over here in a space that you can't easily see until I do that is um, a watermark of a Melanesian male's head. Let's, let's get back here to this. So we have several languages on the note. this note. We have French here at the bottom. We have English here at the top. And then on the back of the note, we have the, or I'm sorry, in the legend there, we have the local, the local pidgin language. So um, Vanuatu is um, a nation that used to be a condominium or a country where two nations officially ruled, in this case, that of France and that of the UK. Collectors of unique vignettes, collectors of pidgin English, collectors of French notes, collectors of uh, colonial British notes or former colonial notes, pictures of, or collectors of cattle, collectors of cruise ships, and people interested in one of the most interesting vignettes on any bank note around will want to have this note for their collection. This note should be available at a reasonable price, but I have not found it for less than $50. You might even be expected to pay close to $100 for this note. For me, it was worth the effort to look and find it because of the incredible death-defying um, vignette you have here on the back of this note. Please like, click the purple circle to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.